Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today's show is going to be honey mustard chicken, show number 178. What you need is chicken breast or thighs. So you have to take and throw it in your frying pan. For the ingredients, you'll need the chicken breast, which you could use either breast or thighs. You'll need an onion, and we're going to cut that up. Garlic, honey, salt, and pepper. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. Olive oil, Dijon mustard, a little bit of paprika, and a little bit of water. I have also have a sweet potato or a regular potato that I use for this menu. Now these potatoes, I wash them as soon as I bring them home from the store, but I let this soak for a couple hours in salt water. You'll also need an orange to cut up to put over the top, or you could use a lemon or a lime. Now let's make our mix. We're using the Dijon honey first, and it's only me today, so I'm making enough for one person. I do have an ingredients list for a two serving, so if there's four, you can obviously double it. You'll find my ingredients and list at my website, which is jamestdds.blogspot.com. Also, before I forget, click on the subscribe now button and hit the bell button so that when I drop a new video, you'll get notified. Now, pink Himalayan salt, this tends to come out fast. So just a little bit on that. Honey, a squirt. A little bit is good, a lot is better. The uh, chicken breast is cooking up here. Let me show you a trick. I have the aluminum foil. I buy these sheets. Take your sweet potato, put it in there like this. Throw it in the pan, cover the pan. Okay, that's going. Let's get some onions and some garlic. Starting with the garlic, I cut the ends off just like that. I put it in my shaker. Then, it takes the paper right off. It's amazing how easy that works. Let's go ahead and cut all this up. Let's smash it a couple of times. Let's try to really. Now, I'm going to do a little side of this, and you've probably seen me do this trick before where I cut into the onion like that, and then I just shave it off, and it makes some nice small little shaves for you. There you go. Just about a handful of that is all I'm putting in there. Put the rest of this in the spare. Okay, now the orange. I'll take and cut down the orange. Cut a couple of these till I get a size that I like. I'm gonna go one more. Since I'm only doing one of these, that's the one that I'm gonna use. Right there. 
that's going to be the one. Now, let's mix this up. I'm going to put this on the chicken next, and I'm going to cook it with some of this on it, and then put the orange on top of that. If you bake it in the oven, you want to bake it at 425 for about 25 minutes. Just put a little on there like that. You can even put on a little more if you want. Probably a good test for my new non-stick pans. Here we go, we put the orange on top, just like that. Let's throw it on the burner. If you want, you can throw it in the oven or you can keep cooking it like this on top of the burner. Either way, you have to check the chicken to make sure that it is 165 degrees. The next ingredient in this is going to be to make some vegetables. So I would use onions, red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, if you want to go that way. I'm going to use a can of mixed vegetables today. So I'm going to start out by opening up the mixed vegetables. I hear my oven calling me. Be right back. So I would take these mixed vegetables and put them in a pan. Put them on the burner. Get that boiling. As soon as that gets boiling, I'm going to take out the vegetables that I want and I'm going to put them in here in the sauce. The vegetables are all boiled, so let's go ahead and let's take them out. And because it's just me today, I'm just going to take the amount of vegetables that I want put them in the bowl like this, shake them up, give them a stir in the remaining of that mix. And of course, this is why we say you pour the mix on top of the chicken. You don't put the chicken in here because the chicken was raw. I kept it separated. Now there is another thing you can do if you are going to be using the green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, onions, things like that. You can put these in your cookie sheet or your pan that you're cooking in the oven. What I would do is to pour a little bit of water onto the cookie sheet, maybe about half, quarter cup at the most, while it's sitting in the oven. Then go ahead and put in your onions and green peppers or scallions, anything you want to put in there. And then I would put this sauce on top of those ingredients, kind of toss them around a little bit. When it comes out, it's going to taste real good. It's going to smell really good while it's cooking. I can smell it right now. So it'll be done here in just a couple of minutes, and I'll show you what it looks like. Everything's all cooked. Let's take a look at things, see what they look like. You know, whether you use a cookie sheet in the oven or you use a pan, either way, you have to make sure you have yourself a good set 
of some cooking gloves. I bought these at a local drugstore. I guess they're called the UGG gloves. I don't work for them. They're not a sponsor or anything, but I tell you, I use them. This pan, this new pan that I got, see how hot that is? <laughs> That's what happens if it's in the oven and you touch it like that. So what I did was when I was putting it in there, I only had one glove and I was holding on to it. And I touched my knuckle on the preheated burner. Of course, they say to have a little aloe vera around uh, to put on that. I ran some cold water on it and it's okay. As you can see how fast I touched that. One of the tricks that people that cook do is they keep a keeper on their pan handle. Here's a pan handle keeper. This is what you should keep on there like that so that you don't grab it like I did. We'll put that one in the blooper reel. So now that I have everything all said here, let's go ahead and pull this out. You know, we're blessed today. I didn't set anything on fire at least. So <laughs> this is going to be a little hot potato here. Just roll that out of there. Aluminum foil is one of those really funny things. It doesn't really get all that hot. Still, you got to be careful. Now I take my mixed vegetables with the remaining of that sauce and I serve them up. I want to get all of these because they're really going to be good and I can smell it. I can tell how good it smells. I can't wait to eat. Well, that's my show for today. Thanks for stopping by, watching my follies. I know it's going to be a good meal. Make it. I know you'll enjoy it. See you next time. That's our show for today. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click the bell so when we drop a new video, you'll get notified. Goodbye for now.